picked up the other fellow. I had the car, and we went to uh, the other girl who lived in Mount Washington, which is very similar to the Mission Hills of uh, Kansas City. Uh, a big old homes, three story, and that type of thing. And the other fellow's date wasn't ready, so he went up, or he and I were sitting there while my date went upstairs with her. And we were talking to this man, and I told him this story about my encounter with Truman. And he said to me, and this I think was just absolutely unbelievable, he said to me after I told him the story, you know why Ruth Truman was such an attentive audience, don't you? And I said, no, other than the fact that I was pretty proud to have uh, a full hour of undivided attention of a sitting president of the United States. And he said that one of his hobbies was uh, meteorology. He was very familiar with a land-based operation, but had probably never seen a shipboard operation. But can you imagine that I, and this fellow was a lieutenant colonel who had served with uh, Truman. Uh, he was an army lieutenant colonel, actually, could have been Marine, but he was an army lieutenant colonel who had served with Truman in World War I. And uh, that's how he knew about Truman. Small world after all, isn't oh, it? Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> but the way you described it, I would call Truman a definite lifelong learner. Oh, yes. Well, I, I just was astounded what he said, haven't we met before? Uh, because as I say, I was running up the uh, uh, portside passageway with nothing but a towel around me and uh, um, shower, wooden shower clacks and uh, the toilet articles in my hand when I ran into him.